Hey guys, welcome to this session by K21 Academy. In this session, we are going to discuss about Kubernetes Secure Ingress Controller. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. Firstly, we will be getting an overview on Kubernetes Transport Layer Security. And then we will see how to generate an Open Secure Sockets Layer Certificate. Post that, we will see how to create a Kubernetes secret. And then we will see how to update the Ingress YAML file. And finally, we will see how to resolve ingress object to use the secure certificate. It would be helpful, especially when you are preparing for Kubernetes certifications, CKA, which is Certified Kubernetes Administrator, and CKS, which is Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. You can comment below which free class are you looking for, whether it is CKA or CKS. For the certification exams, you should have an understanding of Kubernetes Secure Ingress Controller. In the documentation, we want to see now how we can run the how we can set up our own TLS certificate and then how we can run it in a secure mode. So, from the right hand side, if I see we have the option called TLS. So, we click on TLS, we come back. It says if you want to use the TLS, so you have two options one, you have to create a secret. Uh, which has the certificate and the key and then you have to modify a little bit you need to add the TLS specification for your ingress controller and then you you know have to modify and add your host name and then the secret name the secret you will have to create which has your keys so let us create the secret first before that we have to create our own key and then we create the secret and then we modify our ingress object and then we will see if it uses our certificate or not so let me go back to my terminal so what we do is we use the open ssl command to generate our certificate right what we can do is i'll paste it in the chat if you need it i think it's part of our lab guide as well so we use the open ssl and then we create the csr and then we do the x509 and we try to create it create the certificate right so it says country name we leave that okay by default organization name unit name common name is where we want to uh, be careful right that is what we are going to use in our thing right so i'll use it as secure hyphen ingress.com and we leave the rest as default and then we have our we have key right our key and certificate what we've created now we have to use them and create a secret right so how we can do that is one we know we can go back to documentation and copy that and replace that with our certificates or we can also create it uh, you know declarative way from the command line right so what we can do is we say k okay, create secret and then it says you know if you do a help it says you can create a tls secret so i pass the tls and then i do hyphen hyphen help because i don't know what to do right so the easiest thing is it tells me what i need to do is it gives me right here so all i need to do is pass the certificate and the key what we have right to the to the option so so it's a k create certificate and name of the secret is maybe secure hyphen ingress and the certificate is my cert and the key is our key what we created so we create a secret so if we do k get secret we have created a secret called uh, secure ingress right we can go do describe and modify so we've created the secret now if i go back to documentation if what i need to do is uh, i need to modify and add the tls options and the secret name right so we will copy these and then what we will do is we modify and create that so i already have it copied in the yaml file for me let me just So I copied the YAML file. So if you look at it, we added the host entry. Host is what we use that uh, to create our certificate, 
right? And then we added the in the in the TLS in the specs we added a new thing called TLS, and that we name gave the name of our host and the secret name, the secure hyphen ingress what we created, right? Let me save and come out, and then do kubectl apply dash f, and then we have created this right now let us do access to that so now if i do curl and i access that particular service and then see it goes through but then if i scroll up and see it is still using the ingress controller fake certificate the reason for that is we created the certificate and in the common name we mentioned it as secure ingress.com i mean of course it's a fake uh, website or, or the host name what we gave right so if since I'm using the uh, node port IP it is not allowing me to do that so one way I can do that is uh, you know use the either use the slash etc resolve and then add that uh, secure ingress to this IP address and port and then uh, use secure ingress or we can use the option in the curl to resolve so what we will try to do is we do curl and then we do HTTP Yes, and we say secure hyphen ingress dot com and the port number. Right, and then the service but we want to see and then we use the option resolve. Uh, we want to resolve secure hyphen ingress dot com at port three two two nine seven to IP address one ninety two one sixty eight one hundred dot eleven. And now, if you look at it, right? So what we did was we wanted the certificate. What we created was for the secure ingress dot com. Right, and then we were trying to access it using the node port IP address, and it was still using the the default fake certificate what it had. So the we created a certificate, and then we created a secret which contains the details, the TLS of our the of our key, and then our certificate. And then we modified our ingress object, and we said, hey, this is what you have to use. This is the secret reference. In that secret, we had our key and our certificate value. And we tried to resolve our access using the node port. We were still able to get the older. We were still going to the, the, the default fake certificate what we had. We tried to uh, resolve using the curl option. Either we could have, I mean, because that secureingress.com is our fake website, what we created, like fake domain for our testing purposes, right? So I use the option called uh, resolve, and then we said resolve secureingress.com to on the port 327 to this particular IP address, right? And that's how we were able to run it. And then if we scroll up and we do the verb verbose mode, and we scroll up and we see it is using the certificate what we had created. So if you see the common name is secure-ingress.com, right? So let me go back to the slide. So what we saw in the hands-on is we created, we installed the NGINX controller. We, we learned how to do that from the documentation itself so that uh, in the exam, we have access to documentation. If we need to set this up, we can do it real quick. And then we created a uh, service one and service two. We created two parts and one running NGINX, one running HTTPD. We exposed them and created service one and service two. And then we saw the default service which gets created when we deploy the NGINX controller already comes with uh, your HTTPS. You can access on the port 443, which is exposed as a node port. And then we tried to access that. We were able to accept uh, access it after accepting the self-signed certificate. Right? But we didn't want to use the default fake certificate. We wanted to use create our own certificate. We use the OpenSSL and in the X509 command to create our own certificate. So then we went back to the documentation. We saw how to use secure our ingress using TLS. So we have the options where it gives us. So we we went back to documentation. It says, hey, you need to create a certif secret and then modify your ingress object to in include the TLS values. So you say TLS and then you include the secret. 
we saw how to create the secret TLS secret. We can all we took help from the help command. I showed that to you because in the exam you do not worry about remembering any of the commands. So all of that those things what we did, we'll have access to those in the exam. So you can just create. You wanted to create the secret. You do not want to create in a imperative way. You want to do it YAML. The YAML is available on the documentation. You can just copy paste and replace your key and your certificate value. We created using the command line and then we create modified our ingress object added reference to that particular secret and the host name what we had used to create that secret right and then we were able to access and resolve that uh, particular domain what we had used and then we saw that the communication was secure and it was using our certificate that's what we try to do here with the https Right. So that brings us to the end of the section where how you secure your ingress. So here if you see on the left hand side you have whatever manifest I did. I, I took everything from the documentation right? just to show you that how you can take it in the exam and, and do it so easily. So we also have taken it from there and then we've modified to custom the names. So if you see the the parts and then you've given the host name and what host name you've created the the, the certificate with and then here it shows you the, the certificate details and then you are, we can be sure that you know it is using your certificate what you created that was our expert in kubernetes now if you want to learn more and get certified then sign up for the free class of kubernetes certification of your choice for certified kubernetes administrator free class please visit k21academy.com slash kubernetes02 for certified Kubernetes security specialist free class, please visit k21academy.com slash kubernetes sec02.